So, Doug, what advice would you give to a young geoscientist that's commencing their geological career and wondering which way to go? Uh, my comments really are based on, on my own experience, which is exploration. So in that context, I would say that for a young person considering an exploration career, it's critically important to try and be exposed as early as you can to the kind of environment that you will end up working in. In other words, um, do you really want to be an exploration geologist? One way to do that is to, uh, as best you can, um, before you graduate, uh, try and get um, a field position or something where you'll be exposed to the conditions that you might be working in. Um, the mining companies, some of them do this. Um, I think this could be done on a much bigger scale to assist young professionals, but that's another story. But if you can get a job as a field assistant, whether it be in northern Canada, um, outback Australia, Papua New Guinea, wherever, um, and, and it's more than just a couple of weeks, in other words, uh, four to six weeks, a chunk of your vacation. Yes, and, and it's a personal sacrifice. Mm. You have to be willing to, to do this, but I think it's a very positive move if you do, so that then you have some idea or impression as to, as to what it's like to be an exploration geologist. Uh, field trips, of course, are incredibly important, but there's a big difference between an employment situation and a field trip. Uh, field trips are critically important, of course, to broaden your knowledge to look at rocks, but uh, from an exploration perspective, you, you really need to establish as soon as you can, um, is this for you? And, and it's some, for some people it's not. Uh, I can give you one example. Um, I like to read a lot of uh, mining history and about people and their biographies. One that impressed me was, um, it's a book called The Diamond Seeker. And it's the biography of a Canadian geologist called John Thorburn Williamson. Uh, so he, went, he was studying at McGill, I think. He was in his third year of law. And so his friends who were geologists or um, geology students invited him to go on a field trip, one of their third year field trips. So John went along, had such a great time, came back, threw his law books in the bin and then did a PhD in geology. Um, he then went on to work for De Beers and ultimately found the Williamson diamond pipe in than Tanganyika or Tanzania. So that, that's a, an example, um, just one that there's many. It's particularly interesting to read biographies for inspiration. Then also, um, I would encourage people to, before graduating, if you think that exploration geology is um, appealing, would be to contact a number of the mentors. Um, there's a, a long list of highly qualified people in the SEG mentor program very willing to discuss um, their experiences, of course, which they're qualified then to give advice. Um, for um, female geologists, there's many people in the mentor program. Also the um, oral history series, um, for example, what we're currently doing. Um, I think that um, John Dow had some extremely good comments about <clears throat> lifestyles and personal choices and sacrifices which are highly relevant. Um, from a female perspective, the uh, interviews with Joanne Fries and also Mary Little are extremely informative. But I would encourage students to, uh, to review those before graduating just to, to hear from some of the very successful people and their careers. Uh, it's important to be motivated, there's no question about that. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, you should be doing something else. Uh, field geology is a great adventure. Uh, that's certainly what appealed to me when I was young, a love of the outdoors. Uh, but these are prerequisites for a geological career. And then finally, um, network as much as possible. Expose yourself to opportunities. Um, that's extremely important as well, things like conferences, um, and their field trips. Their field trips. The, the, I think the trips that offer those opportunities best are those that are offered by the SEG, um, the SGA, and what used to be CIRCUMS, uh, which doesn't really function anymore, I don't think, but their field trips were wonderful. But by networking, you're exposing yourself to people, your senior, potential employees. They can judge or they can assess your level of enthusiasm. 
And, uh, and a lot of the SEG student chapters are now running excellent field trips. They, they are excellent and I admire those initiatives tremendously. Yeah. They are fantastic and the more of that that we can do in the SEG, the, the better off we all are. And then finally, I think you've, you've just really got to, if you're, if you're determined, uh, then you do whatever it takes to get a foot in the door. Doug, thank you very much. <laughs> you're most welcome. <laughs>